Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here or if you're just coming back, welcome. Today I'm going to share with you guys everything you need to know about having a toy poodle. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell everybody what it's like to have a little cute baby boy. So the first thing is they are very athletic. Even though they are small dogs, they are very athletic. Lambo loves to exercise. He has so much energy that he needs to burn out every day. So we take him on several walks a day and every day we also play fetch with him inside the house and outside of the house just to get that energy out because he has a lot of it. So the second thing you need to know is they bark a lot. Right, Lambo? They make for excellent watchdogs for this reason because if Lambo hears something, sees something, hears a car, sees a person, sees a bird, sees a fly, he starts barking. So he always lets us know if he hears something or sees something in the house or outside of the house. <laughs> The third thing you need to know about toy poodles is that they are amazing companion dogs. They love to spend time with their owners and they're really cuddly and loving. And for this reason, they are also prone to separation anxiety. Because they are so cuddly and loving and they seek that companionship, they love to spend time with their owners, with their family, and they don't like to be left for long periods of time. So they might experience separation anxiety more so than some other types of breeds because they don't like to be left alone. Lambo does have separation anxiety and we tend to not leave him for long periods of time if we have to leave him for a longer period of time we always leave him with a babysitter just to make sure that his anxiety isn't out of control we also if we're leaving the house leave him with some interactive toys to distract him and keep him busy so he's not worried about where we're going or missing us instead he's distracted with something fun and exciting to do until we get back the next thing is that toy poodles or poodles in general are very smart dogs so they are very easy to train. Lambo, if we do a training session with him, he catches on really quickly. We've taught him to high five, to sit, to lay down, to give his paw, give a handshake, to stay, to go. So he has really shown that toy poodles are very trainable. Huh? The next thing is that toy poodles are great swimmers and they love to swim. Actually, all poodles, miniature, regular sized poodles, they're all great swimmers and they do well with water and will join you at the beach or at the swimming pool. Just make sure they don't drink the water because they were originally bred to be water retrievers. So Lambo loves swimming. It's like one of his favorite things to do. We've been fortunate enough to live on the beach for quite some time, so he jumps in the ocean for a swim quite regularly. Next thing is that poodles or toy poodles, they need to be groomed regularly. So they do have really curly hair and that's another great thing because they don't shed, right? You don't shed. So they're great for your floor and for your clothes since they have hair, but their hair is very curly. So you need to make sure to groom them regularly because their hair can start to dreadlock and if it dreadlocks, it can lead to just painful experiences for them and even lead to skin infections. Another thing that poodles are prone to is ear infections because they have big floppy ears like Dumbo over here. <laughs> you need to make sure to lift up the ear and clean out the ear 
on a regular basis. They have hair that grows inside their ear. So you need to use a tool like this. It looks like scissors. And you just gently can pull out all of their hairs. And then use an ear cleaner with a cotton swab and an ear cleaner from your local vet. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, then I don't recommend it. Just go to your vet or to the groomers and get them to do it. So I groom Lambo once a week. Um, I'm also very cautious with which shampoo that I use for him. I like to use an all natural shampoo or one that resists fleas. And be cautious of washing your dog really often because it can make their skin really dry. But Lambo is really okay with a shower bi-weekly. So it depends how sandy, muddy, and salty he is. It also depends where you live, of course. But I groom Lambo fully every two weeks where I cut his hair. I wash him, I dry him, I brush out his hair using a nice soft brush like this. I clean out his ears, I cut his nails, and that's another thing if you don't feel comfortable cutting your dog's nail using a pair of nail clippers for dogs then please just go to your vet or your groomer because if you go too far, you could cut where the vein is and that really hurts them and it can bleed. So you just really have to know where is the cutoff point for doggy nails. So even though they need to be groomed regularly, it's great because they don't shed and it's really quite easy to groom them, especially if you have a toy poodle because they're small, it doesn't take that much time at all. And if you don't wanna do it yourself, you can just go to your local groomers and drop them off. It usually takes no more than an hour. The second last thing is toy poodles are really playful and really friendly. So Lambo loves to play. So he has a ton of toys all around the house. You would think we have a child because there are just toys everywhere. He loves to play and he chooses a different toy all of the time. He never plays with the same toy. So it's important to have a lot of options and toys around the house for your poodle to make sure that they don't get bored and they don't get into something that they shouldn't. Lambo has been really good with that. He's never destroyed anything in any of our homes, but just to make sure it is something that toy poodles or poodles in general can do if they get bored they start to get destructive just like other types of breeds of dogs as well so make sure to have lots of toys for them and they're really friendly Lambo is really friendly with everybody unless he has a bad feeling he's barking at them but otherwise he loves everybody he thinks everybody is his friend and he's really kind and playful towards other people as well Last thing you need to know about toy poodles is that they are so cute when you get a toy poodle as a baby so we got Lambo when he was eight weeks old we called him a fluffy potato because he literally could fit in our hands and he was the size of a potato covered in fluff it was so cute <laughs> But even as they grow to their full adult size, they will always still be puppy size. So they will always be your baby. Right? Lambo will forever be mommy's baby. Say hello. Show everybody how cute you are. <laughs> yeah, this is baby and mama. Baby and mama. And a little bonus, if you're wondering about their diet and what they eat and what they like to eat, Lambo is a really good eater. He's not picky at all. When we first got him, he was eating wet food and kibble. But since then, we have transitioned him to a home-cooked diet. And he loves to eat all types of real foods, from chicken to beef to duck to veggies like carrots and celery and green peas. He also loves peanut butter and plain yogurt, which are ingredients that I use when I stuff a Kong for him. And he also loves some fruit like apples and papayas. 
those are his favorite. I don't know. Maybe Lambo's just weird. So that's it for today, guys. That's it for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.